Hey, welcome back to the channel. So you saw the thumbnail. I will divulge to you my deepest, darkest secrets of how I do what I do here on the YouTubes. So stick around. I am gonna help you get your audio on point. That's what I'm gonna do today. And if you're not a motor vlogger, you will see just how I do what I do compared to those that have a full face helmet. That's right, your old buddy John giving up the goods today. Anyway, thanks for coming along on a ride with me. I hope you're having a great day. Let's dive right into it. And the first thing you're wondering is, John, why in the hell are we on Avery Proving a Ground again? We're not doing a test. Yes, I understand that, but there is a good reason for that. Hear the wind? Right. This road is tree-lined, so I know that I can get pretty good audio here, and it's not too fast a road. Now, the first thing I'm going to tell you is my setup doesn't work for everybody. It won't work for everybody. You need all of this to get it to work right. I noticed, I noticed a marked improvement when I added the bat wing wings and the windshield. Probably more so the bat wing wings, but I get this question a lot, and it's John, I got a full face helmet and I can't get that level of audio. How do you do it? Well, the first part is in camera, the second part is in post-production, and I'm gonna cover them both today. So, the first part is in camera. If you go through my Motovlog gear setup playlist, there's plenty of testing videos on how I got to where I am today with my audio, okay? There's microfiber wrapped around a dead cat, wrapped around a lap mic or a lapel mic, and that is plugged into the media mod on my Hero 10, thus giving me the audio that you're so used to. That's the in-camera part, but there's also a little bit more to it. I alluded to it earlier, but the first non camera specific thing is to test out on roads that you know, test out on roads that you don't know, see what the results are, or in this case, hear what the results are, and go from there. So I know that for brief snippets, I can do 50, 60, 70 miles an hour where the speed limit's that high, but generally my audio is not going to be very good at those speeds. Hey, there's some wind for you, but at the slower speeds, I can get really clean audio straight out of the camera because of the windshield that I've got here that's sort of falling off at this point. It may not be necessary, but all the other testing I've done, and this mic right here, that mic right there, that is not plugged into anything. That's the Cena boom mic. I use it for communication only. I tried to record from that to my phone, and it sounded like garbage, so I'm not posting that. I used the Hero 10 audio, before that the 9, and before that the 8, but I used the audio that I, uh, I used the audio that I can, that, that works the best. And you know what? I know it's windy here, but let's go check out this neighborhood, Preserve at Rock Creek. I've always wanted to ride through here, but haven't. So we're going to do something new today, and that's, uh, that's another point I can make, is try something new. Um, I watch other people and I see how they do what they do and then I don't try to mimic it so much as I try to modify it to fit what I'm doing if I think it will benefit me and let's go straight these are some big houses look at this neighborhood this is crazy these houses are probably a million plus oh my goodness I'll have to look it up later but I've seen plenty of motor vloggers try different setups and a lot of the motor vloggers out there honestly will do a full helmet, full face helmet, because that's just, it's easier. And nothing against them for doing it easier. Hey, look at that. That's picturesque. Click, 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 Instagram. No, I'm kidding. Let's make a left. So, uh, I, I don't mean to disparage anybody or besmirch the good name of all the full face motor vloggers out there. There's some nice people. There's some jerks, but most of them are nice. You know who you are, nice people. So, <laughs> uh, I just choose to use what I have, and that's a half helmet. So that's what I always wear. And if you notice extra brakes, it's because it is windy back here. There's not enough 
blockage for the wind. We have 12 to 15 mile an hour winds today. Them's the brakes. But I've been trying to record this video like four times now and something always happens. But with 200 videos under my belt and you can see the quality of them, well, the technical quality anyway, I can't speak much for the content. <laughs> you get a feeling that I might know a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Anyway, back on topic. Yeah, so I'm always trying new stuff with the content, but also with the technical side, which is why I buy the new cameras and everything. And I think the 10's audio just a smidge better than the 9. Uh, I don't know, it's still the same media mod, but it might have something to do with the processing. Speaking of processing, we gotta move on to after you record everything, how do you get it to uh, sound as good as I do? Because I'm gonna toot my own horn here. They're making a left, I'm, I, they're making a left, I'm making a left. So the way I make my audio sound so good is I use DaVinci Resolve, I use their built-in noise reduction plug-in, and I've done a video on it, I did a review, Alex Audio Butler, best 90 bucks a motor vlogger can spend on video editing. Works with the free version, works with the studio version, but it handles it handles all the mixing and it handles so uh, volumes and all the uh, all the other stuff. Let's take Toboggan Lane North. I don't want to get on that road, whatever it is. Um, but it handles all the mixing, handles all the volumes, handles all the ducking, and you're good to go. So it's like one-stop shopping. You just throw your throw your stuff together, get a rough cut going. Boom, add the plug-in, add the noise reduction, play through a couple of times, let Alex Audio Butler figure out what the hell's going on with your audio and video, and boom, you're done, render. That's it, I mean, it's really kind of simple. And at this point, it's all rote muscle memory for me, so I've got my settings dialed in, and I just roll with it, friends, I roll with it. Now, if the video has a ton of, ton of, ton of wind noise, then, man, there's not much you can do about it. But if it's just the occasional side blast like today, I'll post it. You're watching this, aren't you? And that's it. That, what is that, like seven minutes to figure out how to do better audio? Jeez, I ought to do a whole series on these. Hey, if you think I ought to do a whole series on these, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what specific technical questions you have. There's some of that wind noise. Oh my God, it's blowing me around. Uh, but anyway, yeah, if you, if you got questions, I got answers. And I'd be happy to help you out because I like giving back and I like taking the hours of trial and error and research and turning it into something worthwhile, Christmas decorations, and being able to help other people out with that. And I might be coming to the end of this road. Hey, we're coming to the end of the road. We're coming to the end of the video. Look at that. Yeah, that's the end, isn't it? There's just a cul-de-sac here. Well, don't ride off the road. So, one more time, I'm gonna show you what my setup looks like. And that is how I mount the camera to my fairing. It's a fairly clean, low mount, but it gives a great angle on a fared bike. This is a Rick Rack mount. I did a review video on it, it's great. But then I have a GoPro small bar mount and hooked to that is an offset 90 degree side mount thing from, uh, from a helmet kit. So between the three of them, I've got all the flexibility. I can take this camera, I can take you right there and I can rotate you down, rotate you up, forward and back, all the way around. I can get all sorts of crazy camera angles off of it, and it's pretty easy. Anyway, hey, ask your questions below, I'm happy to answer, but remember two things. One, you have a 100% track record of making it through a bad day, and two, do something nice for yourself every day. John out. Oh yeah, and click on the playlist and video here. I'll leave the Motovlog gear playlist up here, my rides down there, and the one over here is gonna be uh, some of my recording equipment. Have a great day.